Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited because Undaunt Garena just launched and I'm especially looking forward to playing with most of you in the sea region. But tell me, are you left confused with the game publisher's decision to split players across different servers and countries? I mean, what if you're located in Australia, but you want to play with your sea friends? What will you do? Well, I've got at least one solution that might work for you. So before we dive into this method, you'll first need a VPN for this to work. I personally use Mudfish for PC because it's prepaid and cheap, and Indonesia VPN for your phone because it's free. These two both work like a charm for me. So if you're located outside of a Southeast Asian country, Aussie gamers, we have it tough, don't we? You will require a VPN to bypass the launcher downloader stage. Without it, the game will deny you access. But after you have downloaded the initial game files, you won't require a VPN to play at all. In fact, once you link your account to a server, you won't even need a VPN to open your game up at all. I'll update this video if we ever find out that we need a VPN for game patches though. So keep your eyes open on this one. Step 1. Start up that VPN. Choose a server that's located in the country where you want to play. In my case, it's Indonesia. Once you're connected to an IP address in that country, start up your game to ensure that you're linked to the desired server. Step 2. We need our trusty Gmail account. But remember, once you link your Gmail to a country server, you won't be able to change it. So, be mindful of this important step. So, when you're at your login screen, just sign into your Gmail account. If you find that you're having trouble switching Gmail accounts, the only thing that seems to work for me is force closing the game and restarting it back up. I've seen people say that clearing cache helps them as well, but I personally have not had to do that when I force close the game. If you're logging in from a country that's not mentioned, such as Vietnam, you have the luxury to choose your preferred server. However, if you're logging in from within one of the listed countries up here, you'll automatically join the server associated with that country. So make sure your VPN is set to the correct country. Once you've successfully joined a server, you can double check if you're in the right place. Just click the arrows next to the server name and you should see the initials of the country that you have just joined. Now you're all set to enjoy the game on a server that you desire. You don't even need to keep your VPN running as you play. This method works for both PC and mobile versions of the game, so you can play with your friends wherever you go. Now all that's left is for you and your friends to all agree on one server that you want to play together on. And while this trick may come in handy if you're struggling with these server restrictions, just make sure to respect the rules and the terms of service set by the game developers. And also keep in mind that things can change at a moment's notice and the devs may decide that they want to restrict access even harder to us. But I strongly hope that they will not do that for the sake of the server's population and health and keeping the servers alive. I thought that the beauty of playing an MMO was the opportunity to meet and interact with gamers from all corners of the world. I mean, isn't it wonderful to make friendships and connect with amazing players from all around this region? So why split us up like this? It's so strange. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this guide helps you and your friends game together without any more barriers. If you found this information useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more Undone content, and share this video with your fellow C friends who you think might need this. As always, happy gaming, stay connected, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye!